All right, hey Aquarius, so you guys were doing a January love update and you're gonna know this is your read by the theme that's pulled and the clarifiers and your energy and all that good stuff. So if you don't resonate with Aquarius sun sign reading, check your moon rising or Venus placements because all of these readings have been different. So if you guys are new, welcome. I do hope you subscribe if you like my energy. And over on Facebook um, is where I do my videos that don't get uploaded to YouTube, my live readings reels oracle pulls um all that good stuff so let's see what your theme is january theme for aquarius what do you guys got going on i don't like that i gotta have i gotta have one drop you guys all right so we have seduction coming through attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation, third party interference. Okay. So, um, this could be a connection that is coming from 2023 and prior to into 2024. Um, especially if there is a third party interference that you're dealing with, which I'm going to pull clarifiers here in just a second. Um, but we're here in the year of new beginnings and abundance and, and manifestations and money and success. So if you guys are bringing any energy with you, and by that I mean um, not cutting people off, you know you're bringing connections in from the past that you know that you deserve better, um, you, it's time to really sit down and think about where you want your love life to go um, and where you want it to be at in 2024, okay? So we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the High Priestess, we have the Sun card coming through. So this looks like a connection that has a lot of potential to be something of a happily ever after. Okay. And I also feel like it's not over with yet um, because I feel like you and this person on your mind maybe are not severing ties. So if there's a third party inter interference or if you are the third party dynamic, and that just means you're dealing with somebody who's married or coupled up, um, what we want, what you want to do is so, uh, and I'm not saying that you guys are in enabling um, I'm not saying that you're the enabler. What I'm saying is, is if you continue to allow somebody to come through and do the disservice of not granting you, um, commitment, not seeing you at your full potential, um, not treating you, um, the way you should be treated, not bestowing happiness on, you know, unto you or for you, you guys, it's time to cut the connection. Okay. If, if you are not getting the commitment that you deserve, if you're not getting the return on investment, Okay, if you're not getting the success or the successful relationship and this person is giving their time, effort and energy to something else or they're holding on to something else and they're too afraid to come through or because of money, because of loss, because of their ego, then I'm telling you it is time for you to cut the connection off in a way that protects you and your your vibe and your energy for 2024. I feel like this whole time you guys have been dealing with this person, there has been no commitment. There has been promises. Okay. Um, it's uh, with the sun card coming through, um, that's the opposite of happiness and success and joy and abundance. Um, that the, all of these cards came through and I feel like it's because this person is simply not treating you the way you deserve, you know what you deserve. But what I'm saying is, is it, when this person comes back around and they're making you feel sorry for them, um, that's where we, we not nah, where it's time to cut it. And if you guys are truly dealing with somebody who is in a third party dynamic, no matter what the, the soul level connection is, it is time to let go of it so that you can be on the receiving end of something that you actually deserve that God and the universe want to deliver to you. Okay, but we're dealing with this connection for now. So let's just see what your energy is. Like, you know, you guys, um, energy, look at that. The hangman confused. Um, you got your two of wands coming through. That to me is a very special card, but it talks about wrong choices um, you're in this, you could have thought this person was soulmate twin flame. Um, but I feel like they've done nothing but like leave you hanging. They've left you confused. They have left you illusion, like delusional, feeling delusional. Okay. And it's not that you're delusional, um, but you're at a point right now where you cannot talk to anybody about this connection is what I'm feeling because, um, they're telling you opposite of what you want to hear. Okay. You might be like, well, Becky, you're telling me what I don't want to hear also. But what I am going to say is when we stop delivering our energy to somebody, when we stop, when we, when we cut the connection off, ground our energy and focus on our path, our purpose, God, um, what we're supposed to be doing here, that is when we start to see the true 
the true shift change. And I've seen it um, in several connections, okay, that come across my life, okay? Um, not my, not mine per se, but other people. Your energy, I feel like you could just, it's like my, my mind has deceived me, my heart has deceived me, and this person takes, 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 takes. All right. Um, I just feel like you're really confused right now and you have nobody to talk to about this connection and nothing is working and you keep on hearing all the same things and this person's going to come back. But the thing is, is in order to see, and this person likely will come back, but you are not going to see true change until you put your foot down and say, I'm not going to actually receive any behavior of the past. We are stepping into a new season. I deserve better for myself. I'm not going to put up with this shit anymore, right? Um, what's your heart desires when it comes to this connection? What does your heart desire when it comes to this connection? You want a clear picture on what this person's intentions are. What are their motives? Okay. No more back and forth. I don't want this person in and out because all it's doing is hurting me. Um, you know, I want to be done with the gaslighting, projection, blaming, lies, cheating, manipulation, highlight on cheating. Cause I feel like there is a third party that you're dealing with. And the reverse king of pentacles energy. You want to see somebody come through in the upright, okay? This right here is somebody who is codependent, but they're not codependent on you. They're codependent on their financial situation, on their security, on their commitment to their spouse or uh, domestic partner, however it is um, that, that you are seeing this. However it is that they, they are in life or however it is they're operating in life. You're, you're basically like, I don't want to see this person in this energy anymore. But the only way you're not going to see them in this energy is for you to put your foot down and say, listen, person, um, everything that we've been through, I appreciate it. Thank you for my lessons, but I'm going to have to peel myself away from you and I need to start healing. And a lot of the healing I feel is going to come through this dynamic. Um, I, I can't see you like this. If this person is truly connected to somebody else, you guys are being told to stop giving your time, effort, and energy to this person because they aren't changing. Um, if they continue to get access to you, for the last months or years even, and they're continuing to get access to you because you're allowing it, it's time to stop allowing that access to you. And I feel like that's when you guys will start to see the true change um, formulate within this person. Um, what can you release when it comes to the situation? What can you release? I feel like you guys, if you have a timestamp on anything, release the timestamp. Okay. Um, the will of fortune is a card of divine timing and divine planning. Um, and also to the notion that it's never going to work. This person used me. They lied to me. They've done nothing but reject me in my heart. Um, it's time to release that. And I feel like the release is going to come through uh, offering this person energetic forgiveness. Don't go out of your way to talk to this person. That's not necessary. You, you talk to them energetically through your mind, through your heart space, like you're praying to God. Um, I feel like you know, the fact that it hasn't worked in your favor, the fact that it's not working out, the fact that you guys might ask yourself or have asked yourself, why does shit like this always happen to me? It's time to release that. Um, the page of wands in reverse is that closed off spirit. It's the limiting belief. Um, I feel like you guys are being told to believe in something greater than what you have been. Um, this person is not the best person in the world that you can get. Okay. It's not the best version of this person and it's not the best person. All right. What you can release is what this person is kind of like the disservice. That's what they've done to you. It's feeling like maybe you have been hijacked, you know, energetically or soulfully um, by this person. They keeping you on the string. They're keeping you on the hook and you have not seen any return on investment, especially for those of you dealing with a connection third party for years. I feel bad for you. I want to tell you, stop it. Don't talk to this person no more. Put your foot down. Don't don't believe anything they're going to see. Um don't believe anything they're going to say. Okay. Um, when you put your foot down, then, then you start honoring yourself, especially with this behavior. I see come through here. You start to honor yourself. You start to validate yourself. You start to not need this person. Um, and then you start to move on or move through life. Um, and, and you start to see more positive shit start to happen. Right. Um, it doesn't mean to go out and, and get yourself in a new connection. What it means is, you know, that you deserve way better. Okay. And it's time for you to start reflecting that outwardly without hate, without discontent. So I just, I, I, let's just see what this person's energy is. What is their energy? So we have Aries. Um, you got Libra, Aries, Gemini. Um, we got Capricorn coming through. Somebody, so their energy is still in selfish mode, married. 
all right, but not happy. Um, and I do feel like you guys, the high priestess and magician are coming through here. So I do feel like there is a sense of soulmate energy, but we're not going to see, um, uh, we're not going to see the new rendition of this person until we put our foot down and say, no, we're not enabling this no more. I'm not going to do this with you. All right. Um, I feel like there is a very deep soul bond here, but I feel like this person is in, they're in something else right now. They're not able to give the version of, of you of them to you that you deserve. So what comes next for this connection? What's coming next? 30 to 60 days. I, I can't help but feel like take warning. Okay. Because they are coming through. All right. They see you evolving. They see you growing. They see you in the spotlight. They see you starting to put, to jump up, but look at this. They're still coming through in that third party dynamic with the influence of stringing you along. And the more energy you put into yourself, the more you love you put back into yourself, the more this person's going to see it. They're going to want it. They're going to want a piece of it. Um, no, sir, no, ma'am, not giving you no more. You don't deserve me right now. Um, and until you can come through correctly, um, I cannot give you any more of my, my, my own energy. Um, especially if you are blatantly single and this person, um, they're not, it's time to stop. They're going to come back through you guys, but they're coming through with the same energy. So I feel like at this point in January, this is the warning to say, I'm putting my foot down now. Okay. And then we're going to see in, in the next month or two, what the new update is when you start putting your foot down and telling this person, absolutely not. All right. H Q B, um, N M and we got J leaving it there. Aqua, you guys take care.